I'm here with Evan Bourne, a WWE superstar. It's his first time in Brazil. Did you get to see any of it so far? Uh, no, not yet. Just flew in and came here. I think tomorrow we'll do a little bit more sightseeing. And you go next to Rio de Janeiro or just São Paulo? Uh, no, I also stopped by Rio de Janeiro. Uh, looking forward to visiting there as well. <laughs> Will you get to see any of it or just professionally? Uh, like, is it it's the beach? It's nice coming it? here on business. What I would really like to do is spend a week here because yeah. uh, I don't even think a couple days would do it justice. Okay, so explain to WWE fans exactly what you're doing here in Brazil. I'm sure they'll find it to be great news. Yes, I am here to make a gigantic, enormous, tremendous announcement to all the Brazilian fans. Starting Wednesday, March 2nd on Esporte Interativo, you're going to get to see Raw in your homes here in Brazil. The, and, the full program? Two hours? Two hours. The Raw, the same one that airs in the U.S., will be airing right here. And plus, you're going to get it every single week. So I think we're going to be getting a lot more fans of the WWE Universe here in Brazil. You do realize that you already have a lot of WWE fans, even though the, the, the TV show isn't broadcast on And TV? now they don't have to work as hard to yeah. see us. That's yeah. great. It gives that, And now all their friends are going to be able to jump, in, jump on the team too. And for those who don't know WWE yet, can you, can you explain a little bit to us what it is? Uh, WWE is the most exciting form of entertainment on your television. It's almost like a live variety show with nonstop insane characters uh, and plenty of action and emotion as well. It's like a giant circus filled with awesome wrestlers and the most beautiful divas. What you're going to see on, on Raw in Brazil is the WWE's most exciting action. Okay, and uh, I do realize you have an injured shoulder. How, how is it? My shoulder, I had surgery on it on October 12th, and so it's been, uh, it's going on four and a half months now, so I'm very close to a return. Will I be on Raw by the time we debut in Brazil? I'm not 100% sure, but you can guarantee that in March, before WrestleMania, I'll be coming back. Yeah, that's what, that's what I, I was about to ask in WrestleMania. You did WrestleMania last, last year, the Money in the Bank. Yeah. And everybody's counting on you to do it again. Will oh, you be there? Counting you, on me while do I you know? do anything within my power to get on the next Money in the Bank match because that opportunity means so much to any WWE wrestler. Uh, and being on WrestleMania is like the pinnacle of your career. So the fact that I've been on it once last year was amazing. To do it again this year, it might be a little unreasonable coming back from this injury, but you can guarantee if they start setting up ladders in that ring, I'm going to jump in on it. And that's the real cool thing about WWE is we bring entertainment from all the different angles. Okay. And fans were uh, on Twitter, fans were like, oh, we haven't been on Elimination Chamber. It's been four months now, and everybody was kind of counting on it. So. Well, you want me to be in WrestleMania. If I came back at the Elimination Chamber and was in just destroyed... I mean, that is one of the most dangerous contraptions. We, we're always coming up some, with something more dangerous, crazier, raising the risk, raising the level just a little bit higher. But there's higher rewards in that. And that's the way it is with the Money in the Bank ladder match. High, re high risk, high reward. And WrestleMania is the dream of every superstar, right? I mean... Oh, yeah. You want to be on the big show with the spotlight on you in front of everybody. Okay. And uh, when you were injured, it was on a, a match with CM Punk? When you return, do you think you will? I absolutely have. I have a long outstanding rivalries with CM Punk and the Nexus, and now the fact that they are both a combined unit of personal hate, it could not work out any better for me to have them on Raw. Payback is four months in the waiting. It's going to be five months maybe before I come back. Yeah, I've, been, I've had a lot of time to think about it, and I'll be ready to come back. I think everybody's expecting you to show CM Punk what you're made of, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, about your finishing man maneuver, you did win the Slammy for best finisher. Do you, have you been working out on it? Can you, can you do it yet? I mean, with the, the physical therapy and stuff? I, I have certainly not practiced that. That's definitely something that I wouldn't even risk trying until there's a guy laying on the ground, and I'm pretty sure he's not going anywhere. <laughs> I, the Shooting Star Press has been the move that's gotten me so far in my career. I kind of perfected it when I was wrestling in Japan, after wrestling with Jushin Thunder Liger, and then what happened was I came back to America and realized that that was a move that had been banned because of the risk. I mean, its degree of difficulty is at least a 10. 
And um, I decided that for me to make a name for myself, I had to be the guy to take that risk to make to bring the shooting star press back and to go airborne. Yeah, that's so. That's what's so amazing about you, right? And uh, uh, on, a, on a personal level, how do you feel about being, you know, in action figures and video games? It must be kind of weird, but awesome too, right? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a trip to to go to Walmart or Target and see an action figure of yourself there. And for me, I was never. Got, I didn't get into wrestling to become famous or popular. I've never been interested in being a TV celebrity. I love wrestling with my heart, and I've always wanted to participate in it. And being a part of the WWE, getting to entertain the fans all over the world is so rewarding. I didn't even realize how much it would mean to me to get to do this. And when you play the video game, do you play as yourself or do you play as someone else? <laughs> I always play as Undertaker. Oh. He never loses. It's almost unfair, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs>